Hi and welcome to MKW Driving School YouTube channel. We are here for has a perception quiz number one. We're going to do a lot of quiz here. We're starting from 10 clips today. I'm going to show you some clips then after the end of the clip we will show you the has it. So before we start I want you to watch the video how we click the has it. All the clips in the hazard perception test have at least one developing hazard in them but one of the clips has two. Click the mouse button when you see a developing hazard. This is something that would cause you to take action, like changing speed or direction. The red flag at the bottom of the screen shows your click has been registered. You can score up to 5 points for each developing hazard. But don't worry, you won't lose points for clicking on other things, even if they don't develop into a hazard. Don't just click on everything in the clip though, or click in a pattern, because you'll see a warning message and you won't score any points for that clip. Let's look at the clip again. This time we've highlighted the things you should have been aware of. The yellow circles are potential hazards. These are things you need to be aware of, but they don't actually cause you to take action. So they're not developing hazards and you wouldn't be scored on them. This red circle is a developing hazard. You can see that you need to take action here and would be scored from this point through to this point. So, Concentrate and click when you need to take action. Now we are on the clip number one. In this clip number one, first we have to find out the potential hazard, dangerous hazard, and static hazard. Static means standing, dangerous means which put you in danger, potential which means which force you to break. So when the car comes from the center, you're not breaking your car now, it's still room for two cars. Now you're breaking your car like speed of your car you're braking because you want him to let go first. So when somebody force you to stop, swerve your wheel, slow down, brakes, that is potential hazard. So we look for the hazard who forced you to do the action, potential danger. So after every clips, you will see the answer. So try to click on your mouse on your computer or feel like you are in front of your screens and remember your hazard and say in your heart what's the hazard. The so first hazard is the white car because you have to force to brake. Clip number two. In this clip number two you're traveling on a 20 or 30 mile road. If there's no road signs, street lights are there then call as a 30 mile road. First think what kind of hazard you will face here. Pedestrians, car, motorbike, cycle, what else? Try to pay attention to the side streets. What if somebody come out from the side streets? Take this as a perception test in a way that when you real drive car, like in real time driving, you know. So look on the side street, what's coming out? So I think by this time you already know what will be the answer, which person slow you down or force you to change off your action like overtaking and force you to do something so action go reaction so which thing give you a reaction the so answer is the cyclist coming from your side street because when he came in you slow down clip number three again residential area 2030 you're going to the left mirror signal left let's say he's traveling in a different line you're traveling different line nobody's causing you anything so this car is not your hazard man walking on your left on the foot park man or lady not your hazard not causing you anything car coming in his own personal lane you going in your personal lane not a hazard now look on the vulnerable road users learners are also vulnerable users now it forced you to break your car and stop because of him so what do you think what can be the hazard now this Learner car, vulnerable has it, or this white van. Who forced you more to do something? So what do you think, what will be the answer now? That's it. When you spot them early, you get five numbers. You spot them late, you lose number. Now traveling again, residential street. So what do you expect? Somebody can open the door, kids running after the ball, 
pedestrian crossings, pedestrians, car move off suddenly without signals. What do you think? So start running your mind what potential you can see a problem here. That is what you have to do in your real driving test. Scan the road, think of the hazard in advance and be alert. Call anticipation. Is a CGI clip, so what do you think now? Who forced you to do the brake? So, now, don't stop if you find the hazard. Keep looking because some clips have two hazards. Some clips have one hazard. They don't tell you which one. So, you have to watch every clip from start to the end because you don't know which clip have two hazards. So, these two ladies coming from the side street seem like a cyclist. Slow you down, stop you, hazard. Next clip. Again, residential street. Think about it, what you expect. What type of problems you can expect here. What about this road sign work on the left? What you can maybe meet on the way? Workers, what about this work signs? What about park cars? What about hazards? But they are not causing you to break. You are still traveling on 20 and 30 roads. So speed is same. So you're not slowing down because of them. So they are not your hazard. What about this tractor coming from your right, do you think? See, now you have to stop the car to let him go first. So he forced you to brake the car and stop. So what do you think? What can be the major hazard here? Potential major hazard. So I think, again, by that this time, you maybe already know the answer. So look for the answer now. Yeah, you're right. So if you spot them early as possible, five numbers. Now look in this clip. Motorbike is traveling 30 or 40 in front of you. You're traveling 30, 40. This car is not coming out, stopping on the line. Can be if they come out, but you still watch them. But nobody forced you to brake. Can you see you're still traveling? Look ahead. Is anything coming out from the side road like cycle, pedestrian, same style, same, same scenarios. Now what the van is doing. Now see the brake light of the bike. So van force the bike to brake and now these two force you to brake and increase your following distance. So now who is the main hazard who force you to brake the car? Or who force you to slow down your car? Now keep looking as I said it can be one hazard or two hazards you don't know. So sometimes you maybe click and say, okay, I'm done with my hazard. I don't need to watch again. But yes, some clips have two. So look next. What's the hazard? The van, not the bike. Van. Next clip. Now in this clip, again, you're traveling on a residential area. You got some park car spacing on the left. You got car coming on your right. They're going in their personal lane. They're not forcing you to do anything. They are traveling in their lane, you're traveling in your lane, nobody's forcing you to brake, so there's no hazard. What about this car who just pull in in front of you? He may be forced you to slow down as a meeting situation style. So that's one hazard. Now car coming from the right side is slow you down as well, but that is a rule. You have to slow down and let the car coming from your right on the roundabout. So that's like a rule. It's not forcing you, it's a rule. So you can click on it because he came out and you have to break for him, but technically the rule. Now think about the cyclist. Do you think the cycle is now slowing you down so he can go in his lane? And then you have to look the mirrors again and go again? Yes. So this clip have two hazard. Number one, when the car was pulling in front of you, slow you down. Number two, when the cycle was taking a right turn, going in a lane, slow you down. So double hazard. Next clip. So now you're traveling on a dual carriage. So what kind of problems you can face on the dual carriage which can force you to the brake? Because they don't have the side streets but they have slip roads. You don't expect pedestrians to cross the road but yes, sometimes I've seen people doing crossing the road on the dual carriage as well. So yeah, think about it. What else? So maybe somebody come on your right shoulder and pull you in suddenly, cut you in. What about this lorry? Coming from your right, making a U-turn which he can't do in a one go. Do you think it's forcing you to brake now to stop the car completely on a 40 mile, 70 mile, 50 mile road? 
So yes, that is your dangerous potential hazard. And because of this, you have to overtake him and you have to do some work. So he done action and you got reaction of that. So that is called potential hazard. So now you already know the answer. But spot them early, you get five numbers. Spot them late, you lose numbers. Again, residential street, next clip. 20, 30. So start thinking again, what kind of problems you might can face in this kind of road. So start running your mind as anticipation. Look on the side streets. See this pedestrian trying to cross the road, but it's too far. By the time you reach, he's already crossed. So he did not force you to break your car or slow down. So that is not a hazard. Okay, so think again. What can be other things then? Look on your right, left. The road is in enough for two cars. You can travel easily. What about this van coming out and not stopping for you? Now he forced you to break because you moved out and technically he should stop for you. So he caused you a action. He forced you to break to come out. But rules say he need to wait for us, not us. So that is called a major hazard. So look for the answer. Again, if you spot early, five numbers. Now, last clip. Again, traveling in a residential area, bit quiet area, maybe village. Got a lot of greeneries around here. So again, think about when you're traveling on 2030 road, what kind of problems, side streets. Now see this water. Now, because of this water, everybody have to come in your lane to force you to break and stop for them, like a meeting traffic situation. So now it's not anything developing, but it's a static hazard. Water was already there. Now, due to water, people have to change their course of action, which causing you another action. Now, what about the cyclist? If a cycle is on the left, he's going left in the street, not causing you any problems and you're simply moving straight in the same speed. Maybe let's say you're driving 20, you're still driving 20. Cycle did not cause you anything. This car is not causing you anything. So they're not your hazards. So that's the answer, the water. So thank you for watching. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe us. Click on the bell button and we see you again with the more videos, more quizzes. Thank you for watching.